Y'all, okay, let's get the obvious out the way. I know. Weave is down. I had a whole, I have a bob. Like, okay, short story before we get into eyeshadow. I know y'all like, you did all this just now. The title said eyeshadow. You already doing too much. I know. But let's talk about it, okay? Literally. My TV's too loud. I ain't trying to get copyrighted. My aunt did my hair. She is a magician when it comes to natural hair care. I'm telling you, period. Um, she did my hair. My hair was damaged straight out the gate. I have been braiding my hair down into foundations to go underneath my weaves. And I have not been taking care of my hair. Literally, my hair grows because I'm not doing any manipulation to it. It's hot. Hold on. Literally, my hair grows, but because I'm, it's not healthy up underneath, it's, it's thicker, it's longer, but it's not healthier, okay? So, literally, when I went to her yesterday, um, my hair was long. My hair has never been that long as the way it was yesterday, but because of also um, the damage that the lace glue was doing to my edges... And literally, I don't even think it was just a lace glue. I think it's just my perimeter is just naturally sensitive. And any kind of tension, including the braid down, was doing damage that can be irreversible um, coming to the age that I'm coming to. You know, the older you get, the less chance you have of those areas growing back. That damage becomes permanent. And I ain't trying to get no permanent damage, y'all. She was like, can we cut it? Straight up, can we cut it? Are you okay with me cutting it? And you know I did the, ooh, I don't want to cut it. My hair is so long. But she's like, look, your hair will grow back. Hair grows back. But it's not going to grow back when it's damaged. And so literally she was like, let me, let me do a bob. Let me do a bob because no matter what, if we keep that length in the back, right here, where my hair is right here, let me get a brush. 
this part you, you can't even tell right now because it's blending so well with the rest of the hair but literally my perimeter my sides right here were chopped they were eaten up because i had hair that was growing back i had hair that was split it just she was like it's not gonna look right when you have these two short ends right here and the rest is long in the back it's not gonna be even it has no shape you need to just let me do a bob and i'm like you know what forget it i was starting on this whole health journey and i'll talk about that in another video i'm doing a vlog later with brazil i'll talk about it there subscribe so you know when that's coming um but literally I said I'm starting this whole health journey trying to take care of my body inside and out and we're just gonna include here with that let's chop it let's chop it let's chop it we gonna chop it that's literally how many times I had to tell myself before she did it but I did the chop it turned out beautifully you know considering especially what I walked in there with like the fullness in the back I'm sorry, I just unwrapped my hair as you guys saw. So it's a little, you know, bent up, a little shapely, but it's going to fall right throughout the day. Um, and my hair is not trained. I ain't had my hair pressed in a minute, in a minute. So I'm surprised the my roots ain't, you know, acted up already. Um, I'm sure as soon as the ounce of sweat hits them, they're going to revert back to, you know, Kunta. But... We are, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. You know, I feel like I want to, I just ordered a wig. Like, I just ordered a wig. It's coming in the mail. And I'm like, do I do it? Do I not? Do I rock my natural hair for a minute? Let my, you know, my perimeter breathe? Like, what do I do? I wanted some knotless braids too. It's like, I got all these styles I want to do and... I'm looking at my natural hair like, dang, you look good. You look good, boo. Okay, I don't know. Comment down in the comment section what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think. You know, we here. But anyways, back to the point of this video. Let me close that a little bit. I open the window and now all of a sudden it's lawnmowers, dogs, all kind of stuff out here. Wind blowing, which I need, but dang. Like you would choose right now. You was not doing that three minutes ago. Let's zoom in right there. Amen. Amen. Okay. This is my take on literally colored eyeshadow. I do not know how to do. Okay. Let me rephrase. I can cut a crease. I can do that. But the transitioning shadows, how they be throwing in like. I don't even know what shadows, what colors go together, first of all. I be looking at the color wheel thinking, okay, I'm going to just throw this together and see how it looks. But today I'm going to do a blue. I don't know why, but I'm feeling it. So I'm going to do a blue. And um, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, first one. Because, um, you know, that's just my go-to. And I'm going to bounce this blue right here. The dark blue. And um, we're going to start there. We're going to start there, okay? We ain't going to do too much. I'm going to just show y'all a simple way I do color. It's a glitter. The, sh the shimmers, I mean. In a shimmer, I don't really need a base because it pops on its own. I think if I was to do like a flat color, I may do, you know, a cut crease and hit it the concealer first beforehand. We'll do that in another video, okay? We're going to stick with Shimmer right now on the eyes. Um, I got another video to film after this. So we're going to take this face to the other room, okay? But let's start. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. How y'all doing? Y'all good? Y'all good? Okay. I'm going to start with my... My background. That's what I was going to say. I'm going to start with my background. Um, that brush don't want to be used. No problem. I'm going to go in with a Morphe. This is an M441 brush. Literally like a little... Focus on this one, camera. There we go. Not me. Little fluffy brush. And... Make sure I'm close enough so y'all can see. I really wanted, you know, perfect brows for this tutorial. Is it a tutorial? Are we doing tutorials? Okay. 
I really want a perfect brow for this because I knew y'all was going to be all up in my face. But we didn't get that and we're not going to fret. We're not going to fret. I'm going to go in my background color. You know, usually it'd be the one where I hit pan on. I'm going to go to the one next to it. Um, it's a little more of a red tone. And I do want to just throw that red tone. Let me see. I got to look in the mirror. But I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing. Let's see. Right here is cool. Right here is cool. Okay. Literally, I'm popping it in. The tip of the brush is going right on the top of my eyeball. Like, literally, you guys can see where I'm pushing. That's the top of my eyebrows, the tip of the brush. And I'm just laying it flat down across. I'm not really worried about the lid. You know, the lid ain't completely covered. But that's because my blue is going there. I want the background done. And literally, these colors are so potent. You only need like a couple dabs into the pan to do the job. Okay? It gets the job done. A little bit goes a long way. And you literally just want the one side to match with the other side. That's it. Now, you can throw in, you know, if you're doing different colors, other than, like, the blue I'm doing, like, you can do this background for a yellow, but with that, you're going to have to cut the crease, okay? If you're doing a lighter color on top of a, um, a dark color, it's better to cut the crease so that your colors don't blend. You want that main color on the lid to be the main color. You want it to pop, okay? Okay, that's where we are. We got our color on both sides. We're not covering all down by our lash line. You ain't got to worry about that. The main focus is behind that eyeball. It's our background color. It needs to stay in the back. Okay, stay in the back. My next show girl, I'm taking an eyeshadow brush. It's an e.l.f eyeshadow brush one of the cheapy ones the two dollar ones that's all I need it's a flat brush I'm taking my NYX bear with me um, prime set and refresh spray you could spray that's a setting spray it's a priming spray it's a refresher spray it's a brush spray I love it it's light it's real cool on my brushes I'm taking that blue the dark blue literally dabbing in the dark blue okay I want to get enough on my brush and I'm gonna start in the middle patting down this low-key almost look like a little purple literally starting and this one I don't want to make it like spread it out I'm gonna keep going back into the pan as you see the the color slowly fading just dip back in the pan and that's what's gonna keep that color potent okay you start to see it kind of sheer out and I'm going over my natural crease you guys see on my eye closed it's a natural crease right in here y'all need to have find your natural crease and that's exactly the lid space you want to cover. Now, I'm not worried about going all the way over to the, the outer edge. I'm going to throw my signature brown right in that corner. Okay? That lid is done. I'm going to spray one more time. Don't judge the process, y'all. Just the final result, okay? I know y'all like that ridge kind of scary. I know, I know. I'm going to calm it down. I'm going to calm it down. I'm doing the other side now. I'm just patting. I'm not windshielding. I'm not scraping nothing. Literally, I'm packing on color. This is about 75% across 
the lid. I'm leaving that 25% open at the at the end, the outer corner, to add in my color. That's enough for me, y'all, for the lid. I'm going to take my kiss brush. Y'all know it, that's what I use for. It's a tapered eyeshadow brush. It's already got my brown on there. I'm going in, hmm, I'm going to go in with the darker brown at the bottom. I'm just going to tap it, literally tap it right here in the corner. I really hope y'all can see and y'all not being too disturbed by this lawnmower in my ear. Okay, it's going to come together, y'all. And I'm just patting, literally just patting. I'm going to take the brush that I did the background color with and I'm going to, this is the color in, I put the color, this is like a blank in and I'm going to just kind of brush that brown, this one has a little more brown on it, I'm going to get a clean brush, one that ain't got no color on it, just a fluffy brush to kind of Blend out what we got going on. And please make sure you blend. These videos be good because I want y'all to see like, if y'all like a look somebody got, they didn't just do it perfectly the exact time and that's how they, you know, they make little mistakes along the way. So to me, it feels better when I know like, okay, they made some mistakes. I ain't too far off with this because I made some mistakes. You feel me? Most people do use tape. They use tape for this to put tape on the side. When I'm cleaning up right now, they just peel the tape off and it's clean. I could have did that, but um, I didn't. You feel me? I'm gonna see if I got some. These, y'all, they're called shadow shields, okay? And literally, they're little stickers that you can put on your skin right there, wherever you need them. You either catch the fallout underneath your eye or, you know, catch the sides. But, um, you know, I got it. I got it, you know? I just ain't use it. I'm gonna take a clean brush and I just wanna kinda uh I'm gonna actually take a little bit more of that red because I don't like how far I came up with the brown right there. So I'm gonna add just a little more color and blend it out with the clean brush. I'm gonna get my wipe and kind of dab. Some of that down. We ain't trying to come too potent. You know, we ain't going nowhere special to need, you know, dramatic, dramatic color like that. At least I'm not. Let me not speak for y'all. Y'all might got somewhere to go. Okay. As far as color, that's what I do. I do lid color only. That's not a lie. This is a color. But if when I want to do color, like if I want a specific color, 
Like I want to do a purple or a pink. I pop that on my lid and then choose a background color that's going to go well. To me, doing like another type of blue behind this is just too much. That's why I kind of throw an opposite in there. You know, you know. Um, so it gives you a little bit of a contrast. I don't wear colors without eyeliner though. No eye look without eyeliner. So I'm going in. Literally, y'all. That's it. Lashes. These are some AliExpress lashes, okay? I bought like 10 packs because y'all know I like really thin bands. I don't like those. Um, you know, I'll wear them if I'm going out somewhere like at nighttime, but and I want like a full, full butterfly lash. But those thick bands that like barely bend and scratch your eyelid up stabbing it and stuff in the corners. I don't like those uh, those lashes. I don't. But um, these ones are thin. They're, to me, they're like, they're a natural lash, honestly. I know some people like, that's not natural, but to me, this is natural. And um, it's a thin band, so it's, you, you can manipulate this band, bend it. I'm applying glue to the strip and I'm gonna let this um, get tacky. Uh, in the meantime, it's like, can we ramble some more? Of course. I feel like, what is this month, February? And my goal is summertime to be moving. And I feel like I have not done anything, which I probably, you know, I haven't done anything as far as packing goes. But my fear is that, I know I'm probably thinking, well, it's too early, y'all. You still got like, what, five months before you got to go? But it's like, I don't want to wait until that fourth and fifth month to start packing. It's like, I've moved so many times in my lifetime, y'all. You would be, you would, you would gag. You would gag if you knew how many times I moved. And I hate packing. I hate packing. So it's like, I feel like if I start now doing stuff I know I don't use on a regular basis, it won't be such a headache to do, you know, when that time comes where we got to actually start packing. And it's like, I know there's stuff that I can be putting in boxes. Then it's like, where you put those boxes once it's packed? You just sit there and look at boxes every day. But tell me what y'all think. Do y'all move a lot? When I say I move a lot, it's like I've been moving a lot since I was a kid. And I think that's one of the um, appealing things about going to Texas is that um, I don't think I've ever been in a place in my adult life that felt like home. You call it home. You know, you try your best to make it home. But it's got to feel like home. You know, that feeling. And I don't think I've been in a place where it's like, I know I'm not going to move again. That kind of feeling. Like, this is home. I'm. Th th this is it. I haven't felt like that, you know. And I think that's my goal is to finally find home and when I first move you know um I'm not uh looking to buy you know so I know this is not still home but it's going to be closer to that goal you know it's going to be closer to it you know the I'm looking to buy a house when 
I find that home, when I get that home feeling. Okay, you guys, this is the final result. We did a dark blue today. I don't even know if y'all can get any closer. But this is the final result on the dark blue. Oh, let me do lips. Hold on. Back up. Back up on my face. Back up on my face. I'm not done. Oh, let me talk about this. My bad, y'all. Okay. I'm using Max Cork Lip Liner. And um, I'm just outlining my lips. I don't overdraw the top lip or the bottom and I do bring I do bring the liner up a little bit on my lip to fill in the lip just a little bit. I just like that look. And I take this is uh NYX lingerie uh, it's a liquid lipstick in corset, okay? You can get those everywhere, like at Target, Walmart, Ulta, whatever. And I literally dab. I don't go in heavy. I dab and maneuver with my lips until I get the effect I want, okay? Start with a little bit and work your way up. Like with this one, it kind of took away more of the top liner than I like. So I'm gonna go back in with the liner. And I just literally just went back in to correct, you know, I try to get that, that little peak of my cupid's bow there. I like that little, that little V. Got to make sure we don't make that disappear. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. We did blue today. I think we did pretty good. It's a solid look, solid color look. You know, I'll throw in some other colors as I go um, to show y'all, like, some different lid play. But honestly, this is it. You know, if you're one that struggles putting on colors, but you want to try colors, definitely try it this way. Focus just on your lid with the color and throw a background color. You can even, for if you don't even know background colors and you're like, I don't want to, you know, risk it, then um, just... Stick with that neutral, the one that I hit pan on all the time. Honestly, that one right there. Stick with that one. You can throw any color you want with that one. Just know that if you do a bright color, like a yellow, and I'm going to show y'all what I mean by a bright color. Okay, this is the Jaclyn Hill number two palette. Like, say you want to do that yellow or like that pink down here or even like the orange. Ooh, light. Settle down. Even like the oranges up here. You know, these reds and... You may have to hit that with some concealer to cut your crease before you put that on to make those colors really pop. Because sometimes just putting it on a lid or on top of a background color, they don't pop the same way as they do with a blank canvas background. And so, maybe next video I will show you how I cut my crease. Because it's easy, honestly. It's really easy. And, um, and it's simply, I'm not adding in like, you know, three layers of, it, I'm not doing all that, honestly. Um, I'll show you how I pop a color like that and just make sure you like it. Like the video, subscribe, let me know y'all want to see it. Cause otherwise I'm going to just keep uploading stuff I want to do. Okay. I love you guys. I'm going to go film a clothing video. So make sure you guys are watching out for that. It is a tall girl video. I'm sorry.
I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm going to film that next. I hope to see you guys there. Love you. Peace.